Hello, everybody. Welcome back to some more Luigi's Mansion. I'm Tyler. I'm Jeff. And Jeff, I'm Josh. I'm tired again. Yeah, okay. right. Uh, in the last episode, we faced off against the big bad Bogmire, and in this episode, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go clubbing. I don't know if that counts as a good enough pun, but we're doing something in this part. Actually, guess who we see in this part, Jeff? Take a wild mm, guess. Okay. Uh, Aria? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I didn't want to spoil it. It's, but, it's uh, kind of expected. I, I don't think I really care about spoiling inside the very same episode. But, yeah. Hey, look, I guess you... Uh, by the way, if you go by this well that Mario's in, you can faintly hear Mario inside this well. So there's that. <laughs> okay. it kinda, he kind of gives away his position. Actually, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to make that pun. You know when we saw Toad on the uh, yeah. toilet there? I guess you could say that's a Toad <laughs> stool. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was actually fucking hilarious. To <laughs> uh, Luigi holds his hand up in the air, and uh, there's that. Easiest key to ever get in this game, so there's that as well. It's gonna float there for a bit, and I got it. Um, by the way, uh, if you clear out this area, other than, I mean, like, up here, uh, this area, you capture all the ghosts in here, you can actually, uh, you get some treasure out of it, but i show you that later. Uh, so, there's that. Um, we found Mario's letter, and Luigi can't read it for some reason. Mm. He has to go to Madame Clairvoyant you know, for that. Looking at this garden there reminds me of an environment in Mario Galaxy 2. Um, Yes. It kind of looks like this, and uh, but in, actually in that version, there's like a ghost that appears in the background for a split second. Um, let me think. It's kind of like an Easter egg. Oh wait, no, it's not. Maybe it's not Mario Galaxy. Maybe it's Mario 3D That's Land. That's probably what you're thinking of. Yeah, as it was when you said ghost uh, face, I thought of Mario Galaxy One with uh, those things that are watching down at you the whole time, and then the <laughs> and then I thought 3D Land. By the way, I'm really wanting you to take note that there's uh, all those there. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, by the way, so... Yeah. <laughs> I could have been talking to you or somebody. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna search up a bit of trivia on this game so we don't get too bored on everything. I was just thinking that Luigi's vacuum cleaner, that looks like a, a, a specific model of vacuum cleaner. Um, they actually made, uh, Nintendo actually made a specific uh, sort of uh, vacuum, like as of, uh, that you can, that they sold on eBay or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember where they sold that though. They made a YouTube video making the Luigi's Mansion vacuum from Dark Moon and then they sold it on eBay later. Oh, okay. So it's oh, one of a kind. It's nothing like public. Okay. Mm, I was gonna say it's actually called the Poltergeist Three Thousand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called Three Thousand in this game, Five Thousand in Dark Moon. Yeah, because they called the the Poltergeist Four Thousand in uh, Mario Kart DS. It's Luigi's yeah. vehicle in that game. And a bit of trivia in Mario Kart DS. Apparently, Luigi's special card is the Poltergeist 4. I just said that. <laughs> we just said that. Did you? <laughs> <coughs> Did you not hear? No, you said it was 5. You said that was for Dark no, Moon. No, I said it was 5,000 in Dark Moon, and the reason it's 5,000 in Dark Moon is because it was 4,000 in DS. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I was too busy reading the, the page. That exactly stated that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking uh, I might as well look up some trivia and... I'm on the Mario wiki right now, looking up all the trivia for uh, Luigi's Mansion. It says, apparently this game was released in the US exactly one day before the release of the GameCube. So you could buy it and look at the box. <laughs> <Just before. laughs> for a whole day. Yeah. Marvel in its glory. 
And I am trying to find if it is based off a real model of vacuum cleaner. And apparently, I can't really find it. It probably is. It's. Uh, it, it, I, I have no idea, to be honest. It looks like an actual vacuum cleaner, so there's that. Well, maybe it's just like a generic vacuum cleaner that uh, Nintendo just made. No. Oh, yeah, they used to. Is maybe it was specific? one of their vacuums that they made way back when they made vacuums. Wait, Nintendo made yep. vacuums? What? Uh, they tried. I knew they made, like, cards and stuff, but I didn't know they made they vacuums. They made vacuums, they had sex hotels, and, uh, all that jazz. Nintendo sex hotels? I want, I want to find Yoshi in my bed. That was before, <laughs> um, <laughs> before all the Yoshi and the happy-go-lucky Nintendo characters. Aww. I okay. want to find Olimar in my bed. Uh, okay, I was going to say, vacuum cleaners, I could understand. Because, you know, you go from engineering to computers to computer games. Mm -hmm. But sex hotels. Yeah, I don't know where they went, how they got to that. They went from cards to something else to something else to sex hotels to vacuum cleaners. I guess entertainment. <laughs> maybe they really were like needing money, and they just realized, well, maybe we could do this. Hotel just made for sex. Pretty much, like it had a big neon sign. I even saw a picture of it. It's like a big neon sign saying Nintendo on it. it they call it Love Hotel in whatever uh, article I was looking at, but you know what they're doing in there. It's like some of them are still up. People, and then, I don't know, people are like, Hey, isn't that the person who made Mario? What's Mario doing in my go, bed? I, w I want to go in a Love Hotel. I want to see Mario references. A gamer goes in, Oh, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> and he <laughs> turns out to be 45. What? <laughs> Uh. Because all of uh all of Nintendo's uh top customers are forty five year old versions. Mm -hmm. Um, apparently when Luigi sees ghosts in the mirror, they are solid. While in game, like not in the mirrors, they're transparent. That's mm. only because the mirrors are two uh, D uh, reflections instead of three D. Well, I thought that's. That was probably intended slightly because ghosts aren't ghosts like like that. Mm -hmm. Like if they're invisible, you can still see them in the yeah, mirror. Yeah, I mean like, but they're <laughs> solid. The they're room. solid inside the mirror. They're not somewhat transparent. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And now we're getting the last elemental thing. Soon. Uh, the uh, ice elemental ghost. Yeah, you just need to get all the ghosts in this room, and for some reason you can go on the ceiling! Luigi's yeah. been doing it since before Lost World. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of Lost World, I'm... I want that game a lot. <laughs> Jeff, you uh. lucky Brit. Did you get the uh, Deadly Six edition? I actually did, yeah. Did you get to play the DLC yet, or is it like something you access after you beat the game? I don't know. I was doing a, I was doing a blind one, so I just started playing the game as it is. To uh, unlock the DLC after, uh, give me a code. So I'll just I'll just go into the uh, eShop e next time. Yeah, but isn't it like, a, isn't it on disc? Because like the case has like Deadly Six Edition on it. So isn't it like built into the disc? Uh, that's something you should probably ask Billy because he has the Deadly Six Edition too. Ask someone who actually knows. <laughs> well, no, Jeff has it, so I'm asking. I know, but he doesn't know if it's on the disc or not. Well, uh, does he have like the actual case that has like the box art that says Deadly Six Edition on it? Well, the box art does say Deadly Six Edition, and inside there is a little piece of card called Sonic Lost World downloadable content and it has a unique download code oh so base oh so I'm I'm guessing the DLC will probably be be able to be bought later it yeah. could be uh, probably kind of like Sonic Generations DLC that only worked um, on P that that only happened on PC though yeah I know but and it's unofficial DLC really mm -hmm. Mr. Boo Jangles. Hmm. Sing a song for me. Uh, some rooms in this game have cheese in them. 
Uh, I was going to point out that Wind Waker HD it didn't come with a disc or on the Wii U. Uh, yeah, uh, it, yeah. I, 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 I heard it's downloadable only. Yeah, Nintendo's starting to make a lot of things downloadable. Which I guess is good. Like, There's a lot of games I uh, play on my Xbox that I wish I could just stay at home and download them instead of going out to buy a case. Like, like buy the game physically. Yeah. But on Nintendo systems, I like to have um, them in uh, actual cases. Yeah. Nintendo cases are just like, you know, special or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just like, yeah, I have Nintendo. Dude. Ooh. <laughs> Oh yeah, this chick's the chick I was talking about earlier. Ugh. <laughs> that was unpleasant. At least they censored her. Well, they didn't. Yeah, she's wearing a bikini top. Oh, whale. No, she's not a whale. Yeah. What? Well, no. Well, I mean. <laughs> she may be big, like, but she's not a whale. There was nothing to censor because she was wearing a bikini. Oh, top. okay. That's what I meant. Like, it's not like there's black bars. Wait, what? I was just looking at the trivia from luigismansion.com. Uh, Luigi's Mansion Wikia, I mean. And, uh, apparently in the instruction booklet, there is a beta image of Luigi sucking Lydia. Wait, oh, what? okay, never mind. I, I thought just the dirtiest thought. Never mind. They mean, they mean by <laughs> vacuum cleaner. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. Ew. It's like, what? Nintendo's putting that type of content into their game? Uh, I just thought, like, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. <laughs> I thought, like, he was sucking on her finger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, that's the next game. Luigi's uh, Hotel. <laughs> Luigi's Sex Hotel. That's what it's gonna be. Oh, Hotel Sex... Uh, sex Hotel Mario. Because you know that CDI game, Hotel Mario? <laughs> Except now with the sex hotels from Nintendo and then with Luigi, so sex hotel Luigi. And Mario gives Luigi his old hotels and Luigi just makes... yeah. And uh, Lu it, Luigi sucks on Lydia in the sex hotel Luigi game mm -hmm. for CDI 2. And now we're in the billiards room. This I'm pretty sure this is an optional ghost. No. Yeah, Wait. yeah, actually, he is. Never mind. Yeah. You can skip right over so you him. you don't have to do this. Same with the glutton guy. He was optional as yeah, well. Yeah, there are... he didn't, like, drop a key. He only dropped, uh, money. Yeah, uh, there are quite a number of optional ghosts in this game, actually. I believe there's, like, five or five, something. Five, yes. I know, there's a... I know there's at least three. Yeah, I can think of four. At the top of my head. Oh, I only can think of three at the moment. I, I think of that one, uh chick that you have to go through the roof and all that and then she's back in area two yeah and then yeah, there's uh that's one. then there's jarvis oh jarvis yes okay that's someone i forgot oh, okay there's jarvis uh the that girl Creepy roof girl the billiard guy and the glutton mm -hmm. so yeah and do, do, do. wait there's probably only four uh, optional ghosts i think yeah yeah I was just guessing. But There's just that. a random number. It, it, There's four. There's, There's four. four. I can't think of any other at all. Okay. So. Jarvis is actually one of my most favorite portraits. Even though you forgot about him. Yeah. No, I forgot he was optional. I didn't forget about oh, him. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I never, like, n didn't get the optional ghosts. I just got all the ghosts. Mm -hmm. Because, you know. Like, that's so skinny. Dun, 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 dun. Apparently, in the U.S. edition of the Luigi's Mansion instruction booklet, it shows Professor Egad speaking Japanese. Oh. Well, that's trivia. Oh, and apparently the endings to these games are similar to the Wario Land endings. So, if you guys have ever played Wario Land, then uh, you'll kind of understand how the ending works. Also, that was bullcrap. Well, I play Wario Land 4. Oh, yeah, I've played that too. And I have Shake It, but I haven't beat it yet. Weren't you streaming that one time? Yeah. yeah. I got bored of it. Hmm. Pikmin 3 was coming out, anyways. Oh, that was just before. Pikmin. Pausing the game again? Jeez! I was just pausing quickly. Dude, that's unprofessional. You're unprofessional. <gasps> How could you? <laughs> 
I actually probably paused the game without knowing it and forget to cut it out uh, in Pikmin as well. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, I'm only thinking of one time that that might have happened. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh well. I like how he gets more and more tired every time he does it. Because, uh, you suck and you can't get him in one shot. Mm hmm. You're bad at this game. Uh, this boss is, since it's optional, they put, it, they made it a little bit harder, I guess. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you're just a noob. I probably am. Actually, I played this game a lot, which is kind of funny. Always around uh, Halloween, though. Yeah. yeah, which actually Halloween's coming up pretty soon. It's only ten days. Hmm. <laughs> from when we're recording this. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Halloween's mm -hmm. one holiday that I'm not fan fond of at all. It's just so, uh, I don't know. Is it fairly big in Canada? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, it's big. It's kind of big in Canada. It's, I guess it's just as big as in America, but... How big is um, it in Europe? Uh, well, just speaking for Britain, I'd say it's not actually that big. It's, Does uh, everyone dress up as Doctor Who? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what might you think of Doctor Who? Because that's the only British th show I think of, or Sherlock Holmes. That's it's Doctor Who or Sherlock Holmes who I think <laughs> of whenever I think of British television. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, I was gonna say it's really something, f I guess, for the kids. Mhm. Mm well, that's basically uh, what it's supposed to be yeah. for, and uh, chicks who want to dress slutty for some reason. Oh yeah, yep. that's like the most retarded thing ever. Oh, the whole oh the whole slutty costume thing. That's I wouldn't say that's part of Brit Halloween. Okay, good. That's good. Anyways, look at that billiards table in that mirror. Does that not look like a two D image? Looks yeah, like just it looks a like picture. Yeah, like a poster or something. Hmm. Um, most people don't normally dress slutty here, but I have seen this one picture on the internet. It's some chick in a bee costume. It's this really like unrevealing one, like um. She's wearing, uh, it's, it's basically she's revealing nothing, and it goes from a scale of 10 to 1 with basically how slutty it goes. It's actually kind of funny. Oh, so it's basically just like totally covered, then they go from that zero, and then they show a picture of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. For one, it was just bunny ears, it was just the bee uh, ears and the, and the wings, and that was basically it. There was like, like, it didn't show a chick in them, but it was basically implying that she's just naked with the uh, antennae. Welcome to the Luigi's Mansion playthrough. Rated E for everyone. Welcome. Yeah. Well, well you already talked about sex hotels, so I don't really care. Well, that's Luigi. That's Luigi. That's, that's the Luigi more uh, That's way more relevant to the game, because it's about Luigi's sex life. <laughs> um... Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll wait to ask this question until after the recording, because I don't want to ask it in the middle of recording, and apparently we're almost done this recording, so... Oh, so that's convenient for you. I per I think I just catch the boo, and then uh, then that's boo the end of the Five recording. And father. Wow, what a depressed little ghost. He's more depressed than the one member of the Deadly Six. You're not going to ask me about the birds and the bees, are you, Tyler? I already know. I'm pretty sure I'm well aware of them. Uh, no. And I'm pretty sure no. that's a question sh I should ask my father, not you, Jeff. <laughs> well, Jeff is your father. What? <laughs> Papa? Uh, okay. Uh, see you guys later.